All right, welcome back. It's still um, Sport Matters here on Super Screen TV. In case you're just tuning in, you've not missed anything. And you remember, you too can be part of the show um, by using the phone line showing right here on your TV screen. Um, share, contribute on one or two things that we have talked about in respect to NFF, um, CAS, um, um, CSCA, and also the new management team um, of Outland FC of Ore, where we did, we did have the likes of Onfrey's victorious all the way um, from Owe. Away from that, um, I'm joined in the studio right now because one man is out. Um, want to do the substitute thing just like they do in the game of football. Aziz is out, and now with me in the studio is um, Joe Wakego. Good afternoon to you. Good to see you. Good afternoon. Good to like have you on the show today. Yeah, good afternoon. Like you said, you came in the second half. You know, like scoring the winning goal. Let's see <laughs> if you're going to score the winning goals this time around. Anyway, so let's start. I'm starting with you this time around. Now, we talked about Heartland FC of Ori. I just want to get your own opinion. I've asked Stockwe. I also asked um, um, Aziz. He said, I, I asked New Don for Heartland FC of Ori. Yes, yes. He mentioned yes. Also, Opwe say, um, said yes as well. Do you have any... Um, divergent opinion well we keep talking about the Kirwano one but the way it is right now is the Kirwano one is not working because um, the governor coming out to you know um, pick a chairman for them that means they cannot handle the issues themselves mm. you know but um, since the way it is right now uh, there's a saying let me see let me see look at dialect you know um core where papa no said to Napa, well, you know and stuff like that is what they say so um it's not bad but let's see what happens but, but believe it's um it's a new dawn. okay so that what that means is you're still tweeting into the same direction. Well, yes, Everybody's it saying is, it's yeah. a new dawn for Heartland FC of Ori. I myself, I think I want to join the train as well to say it's a new dawn. Well, I am more concerned about the female team this time around. I was actually thinking that this management team will have to do with both look into the case of the women and men team. But hey, he said it's just for um, the male, male team. So let's see what happens. Away from that, let's look at this one. Um, we are yet to get 70 million naira and probably us for winning ITO Cup says um, if I am fine. We are talking about this um, ITO Cup that was played in 2017 Jewel and up to this moment the midfielder has come out to say that they are yet to receive any money as regard winning that title. I would like to ask a question. I, I, I don't know is, if I if I ensure what he's saying. If he's not sure he's not going to put One, it he's out not, there. He's not, he's not the captain of the team. Two you have you have the management of the team. You know they should Tell us exactly what's going on because I too, apart from giving the league winner, you know, um, fees, they give the best player, you know, the best goalkeeper and all that. So I think, I don't know why, why he's coming out to say this. I'm not saying he's, you, you know, um, wrong, mm. but, but hey, we have to really, you know, put our findings together. Know exactly what's going on. Okay, <laughs> you wanna, you have, a, you have well, a contrary um, opinion. I believe why because uh, you, you don't get to see local player coming out to say. Stuff like, like this, this. and uh, he's not why he's coming out to, to talk. I believe because he's not playing in the local league again, he's playing outside the shores of Nigeria. Yeah, he was a somewhere in as a, as a, as a Bajan or so. Yeah. Um, I believe there's a mix up somewhere. Is that I have paid the money, then the so management to or are to issue are yet to issue out the money because he can't come, he's very rare for players because there's, there's something with them they don't really. When you they don't want to have conversations questions with that matters a whole lot. They mm. don't talk to the press. They don't come out because they are afraid of one thing or the other happening to them. 2017. Since 2017. 2017. Is, and is, this is 2020. 2020. So, so why, and why did he wait? There's a mix up somewhere, like um, Joel said. Maybe the management. I have. Let me don't use the word that is in my head, but let's see how it goes. Well, it's not just a good one if this is actually through that they are yet to receive um, the money being paid for winning um, that cup title. ITO Cup, in case you don't know, is um, the Confederations Cup we're talking about here. That amount is a huge amount of money, 70 million naira. Well, we don't know where, how that has happened. Anyways, away from that, let's look at this one. It's all about um, the international... Um, um, we, um, Will I say international um, break um, for players to come to, um, be with their national team and all of the window break, let's, uh, let's put it that way. And we get to see the likes of Super Regis of Nigeria. They will be playing the likes of Algeria come up to, uh, October 9th. That will be on Friday. But however the case is, the Super Regis of Nigeria have aimed to end um, Algeria's 18 matches on beating and run. Do you think this can be achievable? 
Yeah, it can with the set of crop of players we have right now. You could see the young lads and, you know, the future of Nigerian um, national team is in good hand, if you ask me. Uh, we have players all over the places and when people are ready to, you know, you know, want to play, they are, they are eager and, you know, happy to play for the national team. So I believe it's something that is doable, you know. In respect of what happened in 2018 um, Nations Cup, they want to, they want to get a revenge from Algeria. So I believe it's doable. Okay, we believe that will be doable. I want to stick with you this time around, um, um, Joel. We did get to see the likes of Musa, um, Tijani, and also Samuel Chukweze standing out um, in Super Eagles um, training. Um, yesterday, that was on Tuesday, yes, uh, alongside with Genetro, we trained um, with them too so in Austria. Australia, that's Austria. where the Austria. Austria, I beg your pardon, that's where they are, and that's where the friendly still will be played. Um, I want to ask you this time around are you comfortable with the team we have so far? Because a lot of them are pulled out due to injury. Well, uh, let me say yes, because I'm going, I'm going what the coach said, you know, recently. He said he has his 20 to a right man list, he's okay with it, and um. He's going to try all the players. It's a, it's a moment where you try new hands to really see how you can, you know, blend with the with the old ones because there are some old players there also, a few old players. So it's I'm comfortable with it. But coming to beat Algeria is I don't know. It's, going to, it's not going to be easy because there are players. These are regular starters at the club in Europe, mm. top class players. You know, Slamini and the rest of them, uh, Fegoli and everything. I mean, well, let's say I go, but. To me, it is not a do or die affair. Just go in there, do your thing. And yeah. Get out. So there's not there's not going to be any spring of surprises. Well, let's, yeah. So the only surprise, surprise we're going to see Nigeria. is the new boys that are coming to the national. We did that team. against Argentina. Almost did that against Argentina. Well, yeah. The, World Cup. The, 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 only, the only surprise we have there is the new players that are coming in. Let's see what they can they are bringing to the table. So, I mean, the coach have a lot of work to do. You know, blending the new ones with the old ones. What should be the different um, coaching formation for Genetro this time around? Genetro. Yeah, sure, he has always stick to one particular family, one formation. The so should we expect anything You know, having different? a Chukwiz on one side, having a Musa on one side. But I don't know if I'm a, I'm a Musa. Because the camp, there's no so. Wilfred and Didi, so how will he manage with the team? You have, you have a rebel, you have, a, you know, a contrast, you know, to block, I mean, the defense. But somebody has to be on that. Maybe maybe there's a John Ogu there, I don't know. But I think he's going to bring in, let's see what he's going to do. He's going to bring something new. He likes surprises. Let's see what he brings this time. Okay, let's see what he's going to bring this time around. But to sincere with you, if you ask, even though they say we are not to talk about uh, what the coach has for the team or something. But if you ask me, I still have a bit of um, fear in that um, team that we have currently. But like Joel said, it's, ju it's not a do or die affair, it's just a friendly. But sometimes it's always good for you to use your friendly to test, um, run your, um, your performances and how. Um, efficient you're going to be for tougher um, games. So, anyways, um, it's left for um, Gennett Shaw and his um, coaching crew to see how they are going to stage um, the players out there against Algeria. Talking about Algeria this time around, they hold their first training session ahead of Super Eagles uh, friendly match. Um, they, that um, uh, that uh, training was held uh, yesterday, and I saw a lot of things in that training. Of where <laughs> I'm just scared, like scared that we might not just be able to end this unbeaten run? Um, I, for the fact that um, the Algerians, they have fine players, good players like Joel rightly uh, stated. They have um, Mares, they have Islamini, they have Sofian Feguli. Fine, fine, wonderful players. We too, we have wonderful players. Like I said before, the um, future of Super Eagles um, 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 players, players. The, the future is bright. We are in a safe hand because we see the new um, um, players. They have they have a start. Uh, they, they, they are starters in their uh, various, their various clubs. 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 And you know, I, I believe I don't see anything any big deal. I'm not even seeing any shocker. I believe it's something doable. I'm still sticking to that. It's something <laughs> doable. Okay, we can beat them. Okay, we can. Let's just be hopeful. On Friday, we will definitely tell what will happen in that game. That uh, friendly match has been slated for Friday, October 9th um, against Algeria. So let's see how um, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will um, defeat Algeria. Finally, before um, we go, before we go, 
um, any transfer stories? Um, well, the, the only transfer making the making the rank is St. Thomas Party, you know, coming to Arsenal. That is the big one. Yeah, I saw that, and yeah, I'm like, you know, uh, how come did Atletico Madrid allow him go? Well, he, he, he said he wants to, you know, fly straight somewhere else. He wants to really play football. He's still young. He's less than 30. So, I mean, he, he still has a lot to offer. You know, I think Torreira also will be joining Atletico Madrid too, you know. And um, we saw um, Tomori, you know, going on loan. You know, so that's just what we have. For now, there's nothing really big. The league is still on. You know, after international break, we see the league starting all over again. All right, so after the international break, we we'll see the league starting all over again. So thank you so much, for, guys, for being part of the show today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do this again on Friday. <laughs> yeah. I see you out there too. Thank you so much for being part of the show too. Um, like I said, let's do this again. Keep a date with us here on Friday. Still sport matters. Until we come your way again next time, I remain Francisca Lagu. It's bye for now. <laughs>